Hey, what's going on guys? Um, so that video that I had taken earlier, um, pretty much put out what I wanted to talk about. Now, uh, I've had my PTS, post-traumatic stress, since, uh, since, um, 95. I had, I was in a car accident back in 95 when I was seven years old and honestly like growing up with PTS I felt like I was uh I was going nuts like I was going crazy I didn't know what to do you know and then uh, around uh, middle school I got introduced to the weight room and I just I fell in love with weights um and I had been lifting um, off and on until high school. And then high school, since I couldn't do traditional PE, they uh, basically gave me the option of having the weight room to myself. So I took it. And since, since then, I pretty much have been working in getting cardio on a on a heavy bag and doing bench in uh, in the uh, weight room at the high school and um, and I just loved lifting weights since then now today's my rest day but you know I still kind of had a lot of stuff to get done and my phone's been acting up and not allowing me to take video or snap any photos and if I do snap photos I have to delete them right away so yeah so that's kind of a bummer so that's why I'm kind of doing this on my computer um I wanted to talk a little more about my PTS this last year was probably one of the worst years I've had since high school with PTS so uh, and what really sucks about it is that when it hits you it, it really hits you I've had a lot of stuff change this last year insurance my dad has been uh, in and out of the operating room um, he's diabetic you know, and he's got heart issues, but, um, but there's, uh, it, it, I ended up seeing a therapist and working out. I read up on, um, on, uh, what is it? I read up on vitamin B12 vitamin D3 they both affect you mentally in your, in your mental function so um, so I do a lot I make sure actually I do my vitamin B12 and my vitamin D3 um, I actually have alarms set up for that to remind me because you know brain injury TBI it's it, it gets when things get clustered especially with PTS um, an alarm can save your life um, but uh, but yeah like um, another thing that's really helped me Surprisingly, meditation. Meditation has really helped me out. It's really helped me reduce my stress, you know, and it's really helped me with a lot of mental clarity issues, you know, so I am a big advocate for, uh, for meditation. I believe meditation can help especially with uh with yeah i mean i've said it before 
mental clarity, you know. But anyway, I started uh, just to kind of get back to lifting. I kind of started when in my early 20s on powerlifting. Um, and at the time, I was the only quadriplegic to be in powerlifting. And, you know, the only person in a wheelchair in my state to be lifting at that time. But as I'm going back to it, you know, I see more and more competition. I'm seeing more people with disabilities, which is great. Um, in the gym, I'm seeing more and more people. I just ran into an amputee at my gym who is he's out there working. He's 65. He's out there working his ass off. You know. And I'm trying to convince a lot of people that especially around here that age is just it's just a number. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. It's it's a number and you but and you can improve yourself you know it doesn't matter what age you are stay positive about it you know you'll get there it may take a little longer but you'll get there don't give up with uh, now back to powerlifting I do plan on competing this next year, this March, or actually, no, not next year, March of this year. And I actually bought a slingshot from uh, Mark Bell, uh, markbellslingshot.com. Yeah. And uh, I think it works great. I typically have problems locking out with my left arm um, and it's helped me lock out a little more. I can focus more on my chest contraction uh, and I can pretty much, you know, do higher rep, higher weight, more reps, and uh, just if I want to test, see how I'm doing, I, I can just slip it off in the middle of the gym right there, and pretty much, yeah, I'm looking to get, I'm hoping to get to a 200 bench, but we'll see how that goes. I mean, I was only doing 115 that one day, so we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I, uh, so I also wanted to say besides uh, my post-traumatic stress, my TBI tends to get in the way of my traumatic brain injury, you know, because sometimes it's, it's hard to remember, but it's the reason why I have five million alarms on my phone going off. Um, but, uh, lack of motivation is a very prominent thing, and I do see that a lot just in general, just out in, out in public, and I'm the type of guy that can see the potential of someone just by the way they walk, you know, just by the way they think about things, you know, the potential was there, 
you know, you just have to get out and find it. I, uh, I was, uh, speaking with a friend of mine who had wanted to go to the gym, and unfortunately he, he dropped off pretty much because, you know, you get into a relationship, you, you tend to get comfortable, you know, which is fine, you know, but I do think you need to do at least some sort of physical demanding activity, you know, besides you two being together, but, uh, but yeah, I do think the gym can help, or maybe like set up a home gym or a little, just a little bit of fitness in your life can help. You know, I've changed, I've done a complete 180 after my, uh, after my ex and I called it off. You know, I was on the verge of not being here. You know, and we were so close to being married, you know. But yeah, it's always something you can turn around. Having good people around you and uh, thinking positive. I know it sounds very cliche, but thinking positive is huge. It can definitely help you turn things around. You know, I, uh, I was not in a good place for a very long time. And I was in, the, in an even worse place last year. You know, and I'm a very open guy. I will sit there and I will talk to you. I will let you know basically anything you know, that you want to know about my life. Um, you know, I'm writing a book, you know, and I'm hoping, uh, it'll just help, uh, people out, you know. And what fitness has helped me with is basically help get my life back together. <laughs>